The entrepreneurship program at Oklahoma State University helps hundreds of students turn their dreams into a reality. That's what happened with entrepreneurs Caleb Neal and Rashawn Robinson when they came up with their delicious idea, Billy Goat Ice Cream. Robinson was an undergraduate student at nearby Langston University when he first dreamt up the idea. There was a goat farm on campus for the ag program, and Robinson knew just how to use this resource to his advantage. They said, what kind of business would be successful in your rural area? And so I, I did an assessment and I looked at Links and I was like, well, we got these goats out here, so let's see what this is all about. Once he became a graduate student at the Spear School of Business, Robinson met his business partner, Caleb Neal. Together, they built the business with hard work and a little something extra. What I think makes Billy Goat Ice Cream stand out is how personal me and Rashawn are. We like uh, going out and meeting the goat farmers. We like going out and meeting our vendors, really building those connections and relationships. And uh, like Rashawn said, our, you know, it is personal here. We, we make the pints ourselves. We know every aspect of the business. The ice cream Robinson and Neil have been working on uses goat milk, which is much easier to digest than cow milk. This is good news for the 65% of the population that's lactose intolerant. The product also has less than half of the calories than regular ice cream. Boasting all natural ingredients, Billy Goat Ice Cream is a great choice if you're looking for a lighter frozen treat. But get this, it tastes just like the ice cream that we're used to. We very much mimic a traditional high fat um, you know, ice cream. We want it to bring a very uh, familiar experience to consumers. Billy Goat Ice Cream comes in five unique flavors with ingredients all from the great state of Oklahoma. There's bourbon vanilla bean, dark chocolate, garden mint, salted caramel, and coffee cacao chip. Before doing the fun stuff like picking flavors, Neil and Robinson had a lot of behind the scenes work to do. They said that the classes they took at the Spear School prepared them for this. Project management with uh, Dr. Craig Waters um, really helped a lot because, you know, we, uh, when we received our grant, uh, we, you know, we had to essentially furnish, you know, an ice cream factory and it really kept us organized uh, from the things that I learned in that class. Uh, and then first 100 days with Dr. Bruce Berenger, um, that was a great class. It really helped us when we were first starting the business to get it up and off the ground and just things that we weren't thinking about like licensing, going out and getting our founders agreement, just stuff that we needed to do just to help us get prepared for this business. We learned a lot in there, so that's a very uh, instrumental class in helping business start. But it wasn't just the classes that helped them. The Riata Center's Student Startup Central has given them the resources and advice that they needed to turn an idea into a business. Me and Rajan always describe Spears as kind of like a safety net. Um, I know that sounds weird, but you know, starting a business, it's, if it was just me and him, it'd be very scary. But with them, we have a lot of advisement. Uh, we have a lot of help. There's always there for support. They help us with networking, meeting the people that we need to meet. And uh, just some very crucial things that have happened for the business happened because of Spears. Neil and Robinson plan to have their ice cream on shelves by March of this year. With the knowledge and confidence they've gained in the entrepreneurship program at Spears, they have high hopes for the future. We would like to be in most of the uh, nature food supply stores in Oklahoma, so we're trying to look you know, at Whole Foods, Sprouts, get into big chains like that. And uh, within five years, we're hoping that we're going to be in like the Dallas markets, the Denver markets, expanding to other states.